Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're doing something different. We're gonna be working on the Rogue, actually. I got in an accident and they had to replace the front end. The body shop couldn't find a, a fan, a radiator fan. And it's, it's been sitting at the shop for two months just waiting on a fan apparently nissan doesn't have them and nobody has an aftermarket one and i got tired of it so i asked that i could just fix it myself finishing it myself uh, so yeah let me show you So I just went to my local parts store uh, and got a 60 inch radiator fan. Uh, I'm gonna be wiring it myself. Uh, the assembly, the radiator, the fan, the fan assembly is in good shape. The only thing that is bad is the motor. Uh, for some reason, like it got hit or something like that, it, it just went bad. Everything else is fine. So I'm gonna cut the fan off and zip tie the universal fan I bought and rewire it. So yeah, let me show you the fan I got. Yeah, so that's the fan I'm gonna be using. Uh, so front end, they replace one headlight, uh, grill, bumper, and they are supposed to finish the inside because it was dragging and the plastics underneath like they're gone pretty much so of course they didn't finish uh but i need i need to use the car once they decide to do it and they have all the parts in order i'm gonna bring it back and they're gonna finish it so the that's where i'm gonna be replacing the fan so it has play if you can see it's bad uh, so I'm gonna be cutting that thing off and mounting the new fan I'm probably gonna have to unbolt this and take this off and that way I can remove the fan pretty easy just some bolts okay so let me show you what it what it took uh, to get rid of the fan I had to only uh, undo two bolts that are on the metal holding it and then there's four hangers all around I had to undo the hose of course it's gonna leak coolant uh, to be able to get it out and that's it well and it has two plugs so you have to undo them they're the funny looking ones so uh, and that's the fan so this looks like it's a originally stock. It's a 18 inch. I have a 16. It's totally fine, fine because it's gonna be it's more powerful. Uh, should it should do the job. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut this little brackets to get rid of the fan, and then I'm going to figure out how to mount this. It has holes around, so I'll probably use zip ties. That's what I have in mind. Uh, so yeah, let's cut those. Okay, so fan is out. I just ha had to cut the ends and kick, give it a good, good kick. It came off. Let's see. So yeah, it's barely bigger. So it's going to sit just perfect with some zip ties. Um, I was thinking to get this thing the plug but it's welded in there and it's, it's just I won't be able to get it out so it's fine I'm proud of myself guys <laughs> looks OEM to me <laughs> so these are the the zip ties I just drill one hole and then I was able to mount it And it's like solid it's not gonna go anywhere 
Now I just need to mount it and wire it. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, that fan is very powerful. Uh, it sucks air really cool. Uh, I have AC all the way. AC is super cold, even though it's like 90 degree, 95 degree weather out here right now. Uh, so it's doing, doing wonders. Uh, I used the vacuum adapter for my compressor just to get the air out of the system, the cooling system. Um, and it's good to go. Literally, it took me also like an hour the whole thing for the whole thing. Um, it was just sitting at the shop for over a little bit over three weeks. I wish shops would be more creative fixing stuff. But oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, you will probably will be seeing more about the road. Thanks for watching.